Um, so I used to be full of really big ideas and really big dreams. Um, like, I always wanted to be an astronaut, which is a job available to 47 total Americans. Um, that's one in 6.7 million. Uh, and then I thought I would make a ton of money writing a uh, ebook, a terrible, awful, but best-selling ebook about paranormal teen romance. This one would, would feature mummies, because mummies are like the last frontier of uh, paranormal teen romance books. Um, and then for one week in 2009, I thought I'd make just the best state senator. Um, but, you know, and so I've spent a bunch of years not doing any of those things and really not doing anything at all. Um, <laughs> until I decided to start focusing on small, achievable, and honestly pretty boring ideas and goals. Um, it's stuff that interests me uh, and makes life better. Uh, so small, achievable, and boring might look like learning to crack an egg with one hand, which is way easier than you might think it is. Um, it might look like taking all of your son's Lego manuals, which you probably have 10,000, digitizing them and putting them in his Evernote account. Um, <laughs> it might look like spinning up a new Amazon EC2 server to host your latest web project. Um, and small, achievable, and boring might look like picking up the trash in your neighborhood or planting hot peppers. For me, Small, achievable, and boring started when I was working in a cold, windowless, dark office at the state government, uh, which is probably where like most side projects start. Um, <laughs> this was in 2007, where people still blogged, and I was tired of trying to remember which RVA-related internet websites that I needed to read every day. So I installed WordPress on a server, I installed a couple of plugins, and created a blog aggregator for RVA called, brilliantly, RVA Blogs. Um, it was trivial to set up. It took no time. Um, any one of you could have done it. And in fact, someone had already done this in Charlottesville. Uh, his name was Walter Jaquith, and he started Seville Blogs, and I just appropriated or stole, borrowed, whatever, his idea. Um, <laughs> and then I did it again, awesomely. Uh, I, I took all of Richmond's community news sites, and I aggregated those into a site called RVA News. Um, so we had two things. We had RVA Blogs, we had RVA News. Neither were particularly interesting at the time, um, and they were both pretty small, but they existed, um, which, is, which is the point, right? Um, so then my series of, of s small, achievable, and boring steps have, has led me to be the publisher of RV News, like John was saying. It's a small, um, independent news organization in town. We work closely with these nine community news sites. It's a model that is unique for Richmond, um, and we should be proud of this. It's unique in Richmond. It's lasted longer um, and is more successful than really anywhere in America. Um, and despite what you may have heard, for us at least, the news industry is, is pretty great. Like, uh, we have employees now. We have health insurance. We have Evernote business accounts. Like, we're the real deal. Um, and and this, all, this all came. Thank you. And, and, you know, this all started with these small, achievable, and, and honestly pretty boring steps. Um, but it's, it's stuff that interested me and stuff that I could execute during my downtime at work. And that's the really critical corollary right there that I just said, is if you have, if you've taken away and filtered out all of your huge, imaginal, imaginational ideas that probably aren't going to exist, and you're left with this wonderful but realistic dreck, do those things. Like, seriously, go do those things. Like, it doesn't matter if your things are small and, and boring. Richmond needs more small and boring things. Small and boring things that exist are 10 million times better than big ideas that don't exist. Um, and honestly, Richmond is scared of big ideas. We're overwhelmed by big ideas. Um, the failure and demolition of the 6th Street Marketplace, which is like one of these directions, like a couple blocks away, really did a weird thing to our collective psyche. It's like the... The, we're ashamed that this big, prominent, visible big thing failed, and we're, and we're so scared to try to attempt another big thing ever again. Um, so maybe, so do your small things. Uh, maybe your small things look like uh, selling the best popsicles from a tiny little cart. Um, maybe your small thing looks more like starting an unconference where parents can come and talk about the truth and challenges of raising and shepherding tiny humans. Maybe your small thing is a small idea incubator, which is in itself a small thing. Um, and maybe, maybe your small thing is taking your friends and your family and your neighbors and having them come over and eat dinner in the middle of the street after a hurricane has wiped out the city's power grid. All those things are real small things that exist, by the way, and you should all check them out. Um, 
But once you take these small things that are you know, honestly kind of boring at times, and, and, but they're all really achievable and executable, and you layer them on top of each other and you build them, you get this really unique, textured, wonderful thing that is Richmond. Um, and it's why I love it here. It's why I call it home. So that was that. Thanks.